Hey everyone, I'm the Dr. Bob Lee. You're watching Open. It's that live interactive program that brings the Bronx and New York City straight to your TV set. You can stay connected to us through social media at BronxNet TV. Leading things off, our first guest is the national spokesman for Jehovah's Witnesses, and he's uh, here today to shed some light on the monumental return of the door-to-door -door knocking. Yes, we spoke about it once before. He's no stranger to the show. Welcome to the show, Robert J. Hendricks III. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Dr. Bob. Nice to be here again. Thanks yeah. for having us. We, we, we were touching on it the last time we spoke. Uh, we wanted mm -hmm. to know when are we going to go knocking door to door to spread the word? And now you have the answer to that. Yeah, we sure do. Uh, September 1. So we've uh, announced globally that uh, each uh, branch, we have 87 branches around the world, 240 lands, um, where we are uh, beginning again. Uh, our door-to-door -door ministry, and so we're we're happy that uh, that we're entering what we're calling really a, a a phase of living with COVID, and we're we're happy now to go back to our signature work. You know, March 2020, uh, we we suspended all in-person activities, and so this was uh, really a yeah. natural uh, progression now to start September 1 with our our door knocking. And what's the reaction of our congregants? You know, I think uh, we we have a muted reaction. I think that many many are, are excited. Um, but, you know, anytime you've been away from an activity for two and a half years, we've found other ways and very productive ways uh, to do that ministry. Uh, I think that, uh, that there's an unknown here. How will people react? Uh, what will it be like to be walking the streets again and knocking on doors? Uh, it's a very different world than pre-pandemic. But overall, we're, we're excited to be able to carry out the, the ministry that, that really is uh, a, um, a command of Christ and, and follows the, the ancient or first century pattern of the apostles in the first century congregation. That makes us very happy. It makes us very happy that we're going to see our neighbors. Yeah. Uh, but there's also a level of anxiety in this, in this uh, pandemic. We're not out of the pandemic. We haven't moved out of that yet. But we're learning to live with the pandemic, not in isolation like we did for the better part of two years, but, but now being with our neighbors and finding safe ways to do that. We're yeah. happy to do it, and we're, we're ho hopefully that, uh, that uh, the neighbors will feel the same. And what changes did uh, your organization make in response to COVID-19? Well, we, we were dramatically changed. Uh, Earth-shaking for <laughs> Jehovah's Witnesses. We're probably the most visible religion uh, in our communities, right? We have open meetings. We invite anyone to come. We don't have a collection. We have the most translated website on the internet. We go door to door. We, especially in the Bronx in New York City, where, where it started, we have cart witnessing that is almost ubiquitous in almost every subway station and corner we, we had pre-pandemic. Uh, we, we, we study the Bible for free with our neighbors. We invite them to our conventions, many of which over the years were at Yankee Stadium. We're well known as very, very public, very, very outward facing. Yeah. And March 20th, uh, 2020, when we had to shut it down, uh, when we suspended all of those activities, it was a big change for us. But that shift resulted in, in a lot of productivity. We, we were able to uh, do virtual ministry. Uh, we, we were able to do virtual Bible studies. Uh, uh, video conferencing used to the highest degree to allow our congregants to never miss a meeting and to participate at those meetings. Uh, letter writing, phone calling, uh, video conferencing with Bible studies. It's very, been a very productive uh, year or several years yeah. where hundreds of thousands have been baptized as Jehovah's Witnesses and we've spent uh, nearly half a million, just in this this country alone, nearly half a million hours uh, yeah. in our ministry in those various activities. You have millions of congregants, but for the people that don't know or are looking to get involved in, in some sort of tradition, um, tell, tell us more about uh, what you do, because some people think maybe it's something else that it's not of the Bible, but you are of the Bible. Um, you do your best work to imitate Jesus and proud to be called Christians. Well, that's absolutely true. And I think we define Christianity in this very simple way. We follow the footsteps of Christ. What did he do? Uh, how would he react? Um, yeah. what, what did he teach? How do we live our lives in a way that reflects 
his teachings. He was a peaceful person. He was a person whose number one work was the ministry. Yes, it's true, he died for us, but he also lived for the kingdom of God and the gospel and to spread that from village to village and city to city. And the last thing he told us to do in Acts chapter 1, verse 6 through 8, and Matthew 28, 19 and 20, that last command to his apostles and also to many of his disciples, nearly 500 of them, was to go and preach the gospel. And, and that's been our mandate from the very beginning with Jehovah's Witnesses, to share what we know yeah. about the Bible and to be able to live that, but also speak about it. And this coincides with a global campaign. Tell us about that. Global campaign, September 1, we're going to be starting a, a very special campaign to start Bible studies in a new interactive Bible study platform. So it's a, it's a beautiful platform. It's called Enjoy Life Forever. Uh, and uh, it, it combines both uh, questions, uh, answers, information, videos, worksheets, interactive discussions. Uh, and it is a beautiful publication released during COVID lockdown, finished during that, that period of time, and now released to the world where, where we can now it, really deal with and, and meet learners and students where they are. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, we don't have a lot of readers anymore. And so this combines a little reading, uh, video, discussions, worksheets, interactive activities that will help them not just read the Bible, but learn the Bible and not just get it into their minds, but also reach their hearts. And that's really our goal. That's wonderful. And why is this program uh, so important? It's, it coincides also, also with the Bible study program. Is that, is that correct? This, this program is so important because many people, uh, they look at the Bible, rightfully so, as a very old book, and it is. It dates back some 3,500 years. They look at it and they say, this is big. This is a lot to take on. And so many people have been intimidated by the Bible or might think the Bible is something arcane, not, not useful anymore. So this is important because we recognize as Jehovah's Witnesses that the Bible has made a difference in our lives. It has made us better people, better men, women, husbands and wives, fathers and children and employees. And we want to share that with people because the value of Bible principles far transcends simply the words on the page. When, they, when it's in our lives, when it's practiced in our lives, we, we just live a better life. We become better people. Uh, and, and it gives us a, a hope for the future. And that's so key for people in this very hopeless time. This is great. Okay. Your website again? The JDOB.org, the most translated website on the, on the Internet. Uh, 1,060, I think 60 languages now. 1,060. Uh, and, and right now they can still stream our convention, the, the Peace Pursue Peace Convention, for free. All, all three days of it, all six segments. And uh, really enjoy the beautiful content uh, on that convention, which is free to all. Robert, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to talk to you and nice seeing you. But don't forget, door-to-door. Door -door. It starts September the 1st, worldwide. Worldwide door-to-door -door knocking. We'll see, we'll, we'll see you at your door, Dr. Bob. You got it. Okay. Okay. Robert J. Hendricks III, National Spokesman, Jehovah Witnesses. Thank you so much. We'll take a break. I've got more open coming your way next. <laughs> 